A pleasant day everyone. Welcome again to Teacher Tinitin's classroom. This is Ms. Chris Mrs. Christine Cituanya, your grade 9 English teacher. Wow! This is our last video lesson for quarter 1. And we are now with lesson 2 of module 7. Uh, in which we have to determine the meaning of folk etymology, trace the meaning of words using the dictionary or encyclopedia, Get meaning of unfamiliar words by tracing its historical background. And the last is to write a short poem using different words formation, word formation. Okay, so in the first lesson or lesson one of module seven, we talked about loan words, cocks, nuns, and coinage. We are now with folk etymology. So what is folk etymology? So folk etymology came from came from two words folk which means popular and etymology means the study of its history okay so folk etymology is also referred as popular etymology it is a change in a word or phrase resulting from a mistaken belief about its composition or meaning so when we talk about folk etymology it is the change of the word as time goes by so there's a change in the word because maybe of its need or maybe because of mispronunciation of it okay so let's talk about some of the examples of folk etymologies in english so the first one is the word baloney baloney this word originated from the italian town of bologna okay in which a sausage made as of turkey was served so that sausage was commonly mispronounced that's why they changed its spelling to baloney next is the word cockroach so the english word cockroach comes from the spanish cucaracha uh, later the spanish word curacha was influenced by another word cock which means rooster and the modern form of cockroach was born Okay. Now, if you would notice, in the first one, the word changed because of the mispronunciation. In the second one, is because of its uh, uh, history, the change. So, the rooster, as we know, is usually colored brown and usually red, reddish brown. So, that's why they associated it with the cockroach the modern word cockroach and the next one is the word bonfire now this is a change in its spelling okay and of course its meaning so in in the middle english the word bonfire is not actually b-o-n but it's spelled as bone fire b-o-n-e-f-i-r-e -E, which literally means the burning of bones now as time goes by the e the letter E dropped and its meaning changed into an open air fire. So that ends our study for lesson 2, which is all about folk etymologies. Thank you for watching. This is again Mrs. Christine C. Tuanyo, your English grade 9 teacher. God bless and see you in our next quarter.